During the COVID-19 pandemic, the gaming industry was ideally positioned to prosper. With each new coronavirus variation, many of us are trapped inside, frequently alone. Why not spend the time exploring the many worlds video games have to offer? Let's take a look at the best games we had the fortune of playing last year. Before we start though, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. At number 5, Hitman 3. The last installment in the World of Assassination trilogy is maybe the greatest yet. As Agent 47, you must once again penetrate the sacred halls of the 1% in order to attack your targets. The game that rewards ingenuity. You want to arrange any attack on accident rather than as a murder, a task that tests your patience and inventiveness. With grim humor and some amusing weird circumstances, the programmers get the proper tone. If you really wanted to, you could get someone by beating them with a fish. The plot's a little shaky, but the game works as a surprisingly clever critique of the secret agent genre, which tends to relish in the trappings of capitalism. In this game, you start in the world's highest skyscraper, the Dubai Tower, then descend into Club Hell, an underground party. Io is working on a James Bond video game after seeing what they did with Hitman 3, and we're interested to see what they do with 007. At number 4, Chicory, A Colorful Tale. Chicory seems to be a cute game about a tiny puppy with a paintbrush. You name the dog after a favorite food, but choose wisely or you'll end up with a clunky moniker like Lemon Bar. The pup is the biggest admirer of Chicory, a rabbit that wields a magical paintbrush. When Chicory goes, all the color in the world fades with her. It's up to you to bring color and excitement back to the game. The world's your coloring book. Use your brush strokes to color trees magenta, buildings aqua, and riddles. Chicory might easily become overly sugary if it weren't for its moving narrative about creative angst. In talks with other forest animals, you'll discover that every character suffers from imposter syndrome, anxiety, and a variety of other mental health disorders. The novel gradually teaches you to be nice to yourself and others via these talks and encouragements to express yourself creatively, regardless of what others think. At number three, Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon's Horizon series of open-world racing games has been perfecting the genre for years, and Forza Horizon 5 may have finally perfected it. Forza Horizon 5 is set in Mexico, and it puts you in charge of the Horizon Festival, which covers the whole game's vast open world. Its bright sceneries and arcade racing sensibility, along with the Forza series' mastery in the racing simulator genre, make it unquestionably one of the most exciting games on the Xbox. Modern supercars, historical classics, and experimental vehicles are all available for purchase and ready to be driven over a variety of terrain. Tweaking your car's specifications with new shocks, aero bits, brake pads, and other accessories makes you feel like a gearhead who knows what they're doing, mostly. Whether you're using a joystick or a racing wheel, personalizing your vehicle can make it seem completely unique, even before you add a custom paint job created by you or the Forza Horizon community of gamers you may compete against. No matter how fast you go, racing against friends around twisting motorways, muddy roads, verdant woods, and ashen trails makes Horizon 5 a pleasant experience as well as a visual beauty. At number two, Inscription. Can we get you to play a life or death game that's almost certainly rigged against you? No, Inscription is unconcerned about that. It's a half deck building card game and half point and click adventure that puts you at the mercy of a cabin dwelling, mask wearing eccentric wrapped in darkness. The only thing keeping you alive are a rule book, your wits, and a talking playing card. A very 90s look, evocative images, and turn-based gameplay provide a vintage appeal that plays with the tale itself. As you play, you might explore both the map that narrates your trip and the cabin in which you're locked, hoping to discover a way out before you die. And at number one, Metroid Dread. The majority of consumers associate Nintendo with kid-friendly characters such as Mario and Pikachu. However, Samus Aran, the ferocious intergalactic bounty hunter of Metroid fame, has long earned her spot on the company's Mount Rushmore of characters. And after more than a decade without a true Metroid game, Samus made a triumphant comeback this year with Metroid Dread, a 2D side-scroller for the Nintendo Switch that finds our hero pursued by artificially intelligent killer robots on the enigmatic planet ZDR. Dread, which longtime Metroid producer Yoshio Sakamoto has been working on and off for nearly two decades, is a delightful return to form for a classic and beloved franchise. It's often legitimately scary, though not quite on the level of something like Alien Isolation, and a delightful return to form for a classic and beloved franchise. Well, there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. Well, now we're gonna wrap it up. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. We hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, adios.